so welcome back to my channel today I have kind of an updates video regarding the hair now I realize in my peep finder it looks no different basically uh, but it is it is really super different um, I know that some of you might not find interest in this at all but one of the most commented comments in my videos recently have been kind of a hair product update and what I use on it etc etc so I thought I've just got it cut let's let's do a video on it so basically my hair is it is a lot <laughs> it doesn't look it does it <laughs> it is a lot shorter than it was I wanted to kind of go let's fold it maybe like here oh I do want to do that but I think I'll just do it a step at a time um but I have had it kind of bluntly cut as you can see just to kind of refresh it and it's just up to and it used to be kind of waist, so that's not really too different. Um, but I, I would like to get it cut, but it's just the kind of, <sighs> um, but I've got my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. I have got a bit of a fringe, um, just they kind of sorted this for me. Because every time I put my hair in the middle parting, I look like the girl from the ring, and it was just kind of a, <sighs> so I thought, you know, let's just get a bit of fringe action and it's definitely more of a fringe when my hair's up. I don't know if you've seen but I've Instagrammed, um, I Instagrammed a picture when I first had it done. Let me see if I can find that for you. Here is it, um, here's my fringe when it is up. I'm also in a new setting which you've probably already realised and I also have two big soft boxes on me right now which is a little bit intimidating but I think I love it. I love sitting on my bed. I've also got a new bed. This is a day bed. So just quickly before I start, if anyone kind of would like this hair, not that you would, um, just ask for blunt ends. I know you can't really see them with this dress but just blunt ends at the bottom. They feel a lot softer and the fringe I didn't really have any, what I said was a block fringe but a middle parting. And that's kind of, I'm happy with it, that's kind of what I wanted. So I'm going to talk you through my wet to dry hair routine and the products I use and the tools, etc, etc. So when I wash my hair, I literally use anything that's in the bathroom. I'm not really fussy with shampoo and conditioner. Um, although I do occasionally do the um, Aussie 3 Minute Miracle and I keep that in overnight and then it acts kind of as a hair mask. So if your hair is feeling particularly not brilliant, um, one time you want to wash your hair and I definitely recommend that it's absolutely amazing you just rinse it off in the morning um, but usually it's just any old Tom Dick and Harry of shampoo that's there um, and I come out and that's when it all begins now I use a awful lot of hair products and I don't necessarily I've got it in, in my basket I don't necessarily need to but that's just that's just what happens. I don't actually use heat on my hair. The only heat I do use is occasionally um, a hair dryer, but I don't I don't straighten or, or curl it or anything. Um, my curls and wave looks different depending on how it was when I slept on it. Sometimes when it's a little bit damp, I put it up. Sometimes it's down. So it just depends kind of how it's evolved in the night. Okay, so I'm going to talk you through um, if okay. So when I need to dry my hair. This can apply to whether I am air drying it or blow drying it and when I do blow dry it normally I use the cool setting but sometimes I just use the hot setting. Um, okay so it's just a random hair dryer so that's not really important. I use this paddle brush, I think a paddle brush is absolutely essential when you're blow drying your hair, it just creates a really shiny effect um, and I actually blow dry my hair quite roughly first and just um, go through it with my fingers and then when it's kind of towel dry I that's when I then use the paddle brush this is a head jog 81 I got this from a beauty warehouse because my um, cousin's a beautician so I have access to kind of like the hairdresser and beauty equipment um, so that sorry it's got hair all over that's probably brilliant um, but it's just a nice pink colour and it really does the job very well but before I start blow drying it I put on some products so First thing I do is I use this, which, I, again, everything's covered in hair. And this is the Tresemme Split End Remedy. And this is more of my, let's prevent before it happens situation. I don't actually, I mean, everyone has split, well, I just had it cut, but everyone gets split ends, no matter if you straighten it every day or if you don't. Um, so this is more of a paranoia situation so I use this but it's really it makes your end soft so why not um then I put on my bed head TIGI ego boost 
and this is kind of a leave-in conditioner slash split end render so it does basically the same thing but it just leaves it feeling like you've just had it cut and I love that feeling so that's the other product then I apply the S Factor TIGI Dream Drops Chanel and I actually got this from Dirty Looks it's a website I'll leave it below it holds it basically is a hair house and it just holds loads of different hair brands it's really good just under one place so that's from Dirty Looks and I've had S Factor as an amazing brand. I've had this for quite some time now, and as you can see, it's only used a teeny bit, and I use it every time I wash my hair afterwards. I literally just put two pumps down that end, and then two pumps down that end, and it's more just to leave your hair looking shiny. It's not specifically for the ends or anything. Um, using wet or dry hair, satisfaction guaranteed, and I absolutely love it. Then, I brush it all through. Then I go ahead and put on a bit more of this, a bit more of this, then, I know it's a lot of stuff, then I spritz on my one and only Argan Oil spray treatment and basically you can use this on wet or dry hair so you just kind of mist it on and it just adds real shine. This is my wonder product. If my hair ever looks shiny it's because of this. Um, but unfortunately it's only available in America so I have to order it on Amazon um, because I actually got this originally from Sally's Beauty Supply. I wish I bought millions and from there it was only $10 so um, this is my absolute favourite hair product. I absolutely love it. So I do this and then I start blow drying. That's the hand rough and then when it's towel dry I then use the paddle brush. So when it is finally dry, I then use my L'Oreal El Vive Smooth Intense Anti-Frizz Serum. And this just kind of flattens it slightly, makes it feel really soft, smooth, and I love this stuff. That's it really. You can use it on wet or dry hair. I normally put it on before I go to bed, so I put it in and then I can kind of lie in it and then when I wake up it's feeling good. Um, so that is the L'Oreal El Vive Smooth Intense Anti-Serum, Anti-Frizz Serum. So that is my typical product routine that I use and other products that I do use um, occasionally is the Aussie Dual Personality anti frizz and Conditioning Milk. This kind of works the same as all the other products, you just put it in wet or dry hair to the ends and then it will just work its magic. Um, I love Aussie products. Okay, so apply to wet or dry hair, dispense about half a pump or less depending on your hair or more. I have to use quite a lot. Um, starting at the tips, work evenly through hair, comb hair, blah blah blah. So it just kind of adds a really nice texture to your hair really. I don't know if it's essential, uh, well it's not because I don't use it all the time, but that is that. This product is the Bedhead TIGI Head Rush Shine Adrenaline, Shine Adrenaline with a super fine mist. So again, it's a mist which I prefer because it doesn't weigh your hair down and you can kind of control and see if it's distributing evenly or if you're putting the right amount on. And this is just to add shine. It's kind of like an argan oil, but it smells really, really good and it just adds softness. So I would probably use this if I was out of argan oil while the next order was coming. Now for dry shampoo. Now I am a huge dry shampoo fanatic because luckily I don't really have to wash my hair that often and saying that it's, I don't leave it loads probably every few days, um, maximum once a week. I know to some people that's gonna sound insane, but I really don't need to wash it. And it's only on maybe the third, fourth day, I think, oh, let's put some dry shampoo in. And to me, it's just a waste of time because my hair takes so long to wash and dry. And it's just not worth it for me if I can, if it will last that long. I mean, a lot of my family's the same. It's just in our hair genes, maybe. Um, but yeah, I suppose, yes. Yeah. So when I get on the third, fourth day when I want a bit of a refresh, so my two favorite dry shampoos are ever so famous Batiste, but the Pretty and Opulent Oriental one because this smells divine. I find the other ones a bit too, it's, your head smells but you're covering it up. It's as if you've had, not had a shower for two years. Okay, that'd be not, not right. Um, <sighs> you've not kind of washed for a while and then you put deodorant on, it just won't work. To me, most of the Batiste kind of are a bit, but I do love Batiste as a brand anyway. So, but this one actually smells really fresh and really clean. Um, so that is one of them and it's super affordable. Both of my dry shampoos are three to four pounds-ish. Um, is this 2.95? I can't remember. Um, so I have this and I also have the VO5 Refresh Me Quick Dry Shampoo. This is probably my favorite one. 
just fresh of cleaning products that's all i can really say this was really inexpensive i actually got this from savers i don't know if a lot of towns have it or countries or anything but it's just a really cheap kind of drugstore um so dry shampoo just works shake it up put it where you need it and then rub it in so those two are my favorite dry shampoos next product i'm going to talk about is hairspray now i tend to kind of try and steer clear of hairspray just because i don't really like i don't really like it i kind of like the messy free look and i like getting bits coming out all over the shop but when i do want a bit more security but not security i go for this and this is the lee stafford hairspray fat flexible hold with style memory for big bouncy beautiful hair you can still run your fingers through good selling point you can it doesn't feel like you're wearing hairspray but it keeps it in place and i don't know if you're going to be able to see it's quite a mist and it smells so good so now i'm going to quickly run through the tools i use aka the brushes different kind of brushes i use first up Le Tangle Teaser. This is life for me. Sorry if I look closer or the camera's moved, guys. The card ran out of space, so I changed it. Now, I was on to Tangle Teasers, I believe. So this is the Tangle Teaser I carry around with me in my handbag. This is a compact Tangle Teaser, and I actually got this from Topshop. Um, basically, it just has a lid, and it's a lot smaller, just kind of a handheld teeny one. Um, the reason I like to travel with one with a lid is because if this is loose in my bag, these um, bristly bits just get caught, they bend, they can break off. And if I have a cardigan in my bag or something, it will just pluck the cardigan. And I think, or if I have a spare pair of tights in there, ready for a ladder disaster, there's already a ladder disaster in the one in my bag. So that just won't do. Uh, and again, I think this was about 10 pounds as well. And I love this, it's pink and reflective. I have the paddle brush as previously mentioned. And then the two combs I have, I have this tail comb, and this is just to kind of sort out parting. Um, and that's there. And then this one, again, I got from the beauty warehouse I previously mentioned, and this is by HG Carbon. And the reason I like this one is because the um, bristle, what do you call these bits? Because they're super duper close together. It's really good for if you've got a fringe, it'll just kind of sort it and give the illusion of a thicker fringe, if that's what you're going for. And that is everything I do to my hair. If you would like a kind of updated hairstyles, a tutorial video I could do about hang on how many hairstyles am I do I have going at the moment maybe about five if you would like that then definitely give this video a thumbs up and let me know below any specifics you like because if so I will do one of those videos in a few weeks time so thank you so much for watching let me know below what you think of the new hair